Yeah, we're back with another Whizbangs Workshop card review, and uh, the hits keep on coming. This is another really cool, super fun, super nostalgic legendary. Uh, they're showing these seemingly one at a time, and I think they're just letting us percolate on how cool these are day by day. Because this is Puzzle Master Cadgar, a six mana five five battle cry equip, a zero six Wisdom Ball that casts helpful mage spells. You can see here that weapon reads at the end of your turn, cast a helpful mage spell and lose one durability. So reading that, the question quickly becomes, what the heck is a helpful mage spell? What does that mean? Well, I don't have a perfect answer for you here, but I have a little bit of information and some speculation to go alongside it. Of course, if there is like a dev thread on Twitter that pops up or something with additional details on this, if you see it, you know, feel free to leave it in the comments. I'll try to do the same. But I did see a video of this in action. So they played Cadguard, equipped the weapon, of course. The opponent had a board of small stuff, kind of like one or two health things. And the Magic Wisdom Ball cast a blizzard to wipe out the opponent's board. So in that case, it seemed smart, like it knew it needed a board clear to deal with the opponent's board, and it knew that Blizzard was, you know, the right sort of sh size or shape for that. Uh, and I think the wording here with helpful mage spell also suggests that there is going to be some sort of logic dictating the cards that this casts. I don't think it's just going to be, you know, random stuff. So that kind of harkens to the previous Cadgar ball thing we saw in like a, you know, single player adventures and stuff. And it harkens a little bit to Zephyrus as well, where Zephyrus, you know, kind of knows which cards might be useful for you in certain situations. So my estimation is that the wisdom ball here is using some of that kind of base Zephyrus logic to pick a spell for you. I'm sure it's not always going to feel perfect, but I bet it will feel useful in many cases. Uh, now that said, you know, there are some spells that are kind of safe for that, you know, Blizzard only impacts your opponent's board. That's going to be, honestly, if they just cast Blizzard every turn, this would be a pretty insane card. <laughs> like, that would be okay, right? You'd often be very happy with that. But maybe if the opponent doesn't have a board, it'll cast like an Ice Barrier, right? Or a Counter Spell or a Secret or something that, again, is kind of just trusted to be a base useful set. So my guess, my speculation they probably selected a pool of cards that kind of make sense most of the time, pumped in a little bit of like the Zephyrus logic or whatever to determine which of those it's gonna pick from. And hopefully on average, it feels like you're getting something pretty useful. Now that said, you know, if this reliably casts a board wipe, when your opponent has a board, if it casts a blizzard or a flame strike or whatever on demand because it prioritizes that, that already makes Khadgar a pretty great card. Just knowing that you can play a 5-5 five five that casts a blizzard to, to freeze out or wipe your opponent's board, that is A+, plus, right? That is a blizzard on a stick. That's amazing, and it still preserves upside in the future. So will it always cast blizzard if your opponent has a board? I don't know, right? Sometimes maybe it doesn't do it all the time. Maybe it casts Ice Barrier or something instead. Then Khadgar's a little shakier, right? It depends on how smart it is and how focused it is, basically, in its results a little bit to determine how powerful this is. That said, there's still just a lot of upside baked into this, you know. Uh, you're getting a body on board and you're getting six turns effectively of potential free stuff and sometimes really impactful free stuff. The blizzards are insane. Something like a secret, you know, that might be fine. If it's smart enough to go for lethal with like a fireball or something, right? That could be absolutely nuts. Just could be, you know, a, a closer of sorts. So I think there is a lot of potential baked into this card for sure. Obviously it is a weapon, which means, you know, weapon removal becomes kind of scary against these sorts of things, but that has never kept weapons like this from working in the past, you know? And again, you're falling back on one guaranteed result happening right away at the end of turn, right? And a five, five body. So the floor on this card is not bad for six mana. If this were like an eight mana card, I'd be really hesitant, but it's six mana, not that crazy to weave in, get one good result, you're happy with it, it did its job, and then it's just all potential upside from there. Even if it gets removed or whatever by a, a weapon removal, you'll 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 take that, right? You're gonna be completely fine uh, because you got something cool out of it. And then other games, it won't get removed from weapon removal and it's gonna feel like it's really stacking up for a lot of value over the course of the game. So Holmes for this kind of card, certainly Reno decks, uh, makes sense for this, you know, we love these kind of one-off legendaries and Reno decks, but 
honestly a lot of different mage decks could use this especially if it has that offensive capability with things like fireballs you could even put this in in the top end of a more aggressive deck but uh, across the gamut basically top end of an aggressive deck weave it into a mid-range deck you know just another puzzle piece puzzle piece <laughs> in a control deck right whatever the archetype is i think this actually fits rather well in, in many scenarios so in other words this card looks like it has a lot of potential to me you know obviously we're assuming a little bit that the wisdom ball works well enough often enough for that to be true if it has weird bad cards all the time clearly uh this might not feel worth it but based on what i've seen so far based on my instincts i suspect the wisdom ball is going to feel like a really good uh payoff most of the time which makes this card pretty dang good most of the time puzzle master cadgar is a four star card and yeah, there you go. That's it. Uh, a little bit shorter review today, I guess. We only get uh, one card at a time right now. I think they're just doing some like cool, awesome, you know, legendary spotlights or something. It feels like showcasing these crazy designs, letting us think about them. I'm sure we'll get more faster uh, later on in the reveal process. But yeah, thanks for joining me. Share your thoughts on these cards. Curious if you find more details, you want to share those and talk about them too. That would be awesome. Um, that's it. Thanks uh, for watching. And until next time, game on.